Facebook says it's removing all content with the phrase Stop the Steal ahead of Inauguration Day. Here are the details. Facebook is removing all Stop the Steal content ahead of President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration. Trump supporters used the phrase to question the integrity of the election and held multiple Stop the Steal rallies since the November 3rd election. Facebook and other big tech companies are increasing efforts to police content they claim could lead to potential harm offline. The latest round started after pockets of violence marred otherwise peaceful protests at the Capitol on January 6th. Facebook says it has teams working 24-7 to enforce the policy until at least next Friday. Twitter says it's removed over 70,000 accounts that promoted content related to the QAnon conspiracy theory. Twitter said, We began permanently suspending thousands of accounts that were primarily dedicated to sharing QAnon content on Friday afternoon. The purge started the same day Twitter removed President Trump. The QAnon movement follows clues from cryptic messages posted on an anonymous board online. Twitter's explanation for removing QAnon accounts suggests it blames the movement for what happened in D.C. It used a similar explanation to banish the president. Meanwhile, Amazon is removing QAnon products from its marketplace. The company cited policies prohibiting offensive and controversial materials. Amazon drew scrutiny for allowing QAnon merchandise to be sold on its platform after eBay said the products were no longer allowed on its website. Photographs of the riot show self-described QAnon followers in the group that breached the Capitol. Amazon told the Epoch Times if people tried to keep selling the products, they could get their right to sell on Amazon taken away.